Yes, I know. But Kirk's coming. Hooray! He's not going to get us a decent wedding, Prezi. If he's ever got two pennies to rub together, you can bet your life one of them's chocolate. We need guests with cash. Look, we can't force them to come. <laughs> That's your problem, isn't it? You don't know how to be pushy. We can force them. So get on with it and get them to change their minds. Or what? <laughs> or it's chips and scraps for every meal. What kind of a threat is that? I didn't say what scraps were. Two pints when you're ready here, please, Betty. Right. And whatever Fred and Audrey's having. Oh, well, what have we done to deserve that? It's what you will do. I know you two will change your mind and come to our wedding. Boy, you know, could be written on the back of a fag packet. I've given you a second chance. There's no point, Les. You wanted official replies? You've got them. It's completely obvious what you're doing and totally pathetic. You're out for wedding presents. Yes, well, we're not as stupid as we look. Go and scrounge off somebody else. Nobody's going to this sham wedding, are you, Horace? Well done. You rotten beggars. Oi, Doris, don't you go speaking to my silly like that. I don't care what you lot think. I love this woman. And we're getting married because we love each other. Right? Good. Hey, who's this? Ooh, you rotten beggars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good one. <laughs>